Ma'am. Could you repeat the beginning of that? I missed the first one. Earlier today, you said that you called Governor Walz, so clearly at least part of you believes that he could be the vice presidential candidate. Are you saying that you will not debate him, or will you agree to hit, go on the debate stage with Tim Walz? No, I absolutely want to debate Tim Walz, but I want to debate him actually after he's actually officially the nominee. And I did call him and congratulate him and, and, and offered him my best wishes. I think that's the polite thing to do. But look, would it shock me if the Democrats pulled another switcheroo? No, it wouldn't. So, look, we're going to wait until they actually nominate Kamala Harris and Tim Waltz before we do any debates. And then, of course, we want to have a robust debate again because we believe the American people have the right to have their political leaders try to persuade them. And that is what's so scandalous about Kamala Harris's basement campaign. Sixteen days she has been the presumptive nominee of the Democrat Party. Zero times she has sat for a real media interview. That's a disgrace. Nobody should ask to lead the American people unless she's willing to answer tough questions. And if she's too afraid of the American media, how is she possibly going to deal with Vladimir Putin and Xi Jinping and a bunch of world leaders all over the, the globe?